You guys can hear construction they are building the house directly behind us so it's been really loud and Simba has not been able to go outside <laughs> I'm so sad for him he just watches from the window he could go out he just like he doesn't want to he usually jumps the fence and like goes to explore but there's a house there now Sim Sim hope you guys are doing well I just got back from the gym and the grocery store and I'm gonna make some shrimp tacos for lunch. I haven't really been cooking much. Like my dinners have been very simple because Mohammed is doing this carnivore diet and um, I hate even talking about that because I'm not a fan of diets and he is not either. He's just trying this because Naeem did it for a month and he lost like 15 pounds. And I think it'll help him like, I don't know, just kind of like reset and then once he starts introducing foods back in. So basically the carnivore diet is where you just eat like meats, all types of meats like fish, chicken, red meat, whatever. You just don't eat any vegetables or carbs or anything like that. So it's like cheese, butter, and meat. And that's basically it. I have no opinions towards that. I just... You know, he can do what he wants, and I know a lot of people have opinions towards things like that, but genuinely, I don't care, but I'm just saying this to say that I haven't been cooking much because he's been, like, making stuff for himself, so I've been doing really simple things for dinner, and I'm craving shrimp tacos, so I'm gonna make that for lunch right now. I usually cook my shrimp in a pan for shrimp tacos, but I think I'm gonna try it in the air fryer since it's just me eating. And lately, I've been using my air fryer a lot because it's just fast and I am a lazy. So anytime I marinate shrimp, anything like taco seasoning, and I don't have taco seasoning, I use chili powder. That's like the main one that I use, so lots of that. And this already has things in here, but I add a bunch. So I'll add oregano, paprika, garlic powder, cumin, and onion powder. I just like things very seasoned. I have like Ramadan on my mind because I cannot believe it is literally around the corner. I'm starting to get a bunch of Ramadan decor in so I want to share with you guys what I've got so far. Just so if any of you are like looking for some stuff I can tell you what I've gotten and there's some really nice stuff this year. Really good. I'm also reusing a ton of stuff that I already had just because I saved it, obviously, and Ramadan decor is expensive, so it's best to just reuse everything. But yeah, I'm really trying to support some small businesses. I always do, but I'm really focusing on that. Oh my god. This year, got some salt. Okay, that's what they look like. I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer. I'm gonna make like a little cabbage slaw. I never eat shrimp tacos like this because I don't think Mohammed would like it, but I'm craving this and I don't even know what it is yet. So we're gonna, I got this bag of cabbage and carrots. So we're gonna do a little bit of this. Hi, 
right, Simba, you will not like this. I'm gonna do a little bit of cilantro. I never cut cilantro like this. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just lazy. Do a little bit of some red onion. I want this jalapeno, but I know it's gonna be spicy. So, let's do like that much. I think I'm setting myself up for a disaster because I know that's gonna be spicy. tortillas. I'm going to take some avocado and put it on both of them first. Okay, a little bit of that. The shrimp. Jump up there. It's like I have a child. It's like I have a child. Some extra lime. And there it is. Okay, let's do a taste test because this is just a concoction, basically. It's really good. Light and fresh. It's like summery. I feel like I never eat lunch anymore because I'm just like busy. But since I was vlogging today, I was like, I am gonna force myself to make lunch. Okay, I went and took a quick shower because I'm leaving in a little bit to go get coffee with my sister-in-law, Hala. By the way, this is my new water bottle. This is a Brewmate. I pre-ordered it in January because I've been seeing all this like TikToks about Stanley having lead in the bottom and it's supposedly covered and like quote unquote safe but that just scares me and I've had my Stanley for like a few years now and I'm not the type who type of person who has like a thousand water bottles but and I use it every single day it's like the only thing I drink water out of so it was just time for a new one and this one is spill proof so this little top part you oh, I'm getting a package you like twist it okay that's locked and then you can pour it over and nothing happens my friend sada had this and i was like what water bottle is that because i had never seen it everybody's saying that the hydro jug is like the new water bottle and those were all sold out and you know what it's just a water bottle to me so whatever but i really like this one um behind me i have all of the ramadan decor that I've gotten so far. I'm getting a few more things and a lot of this stuff is from last year. I'm reusing a lot of stuff, but I, I got a few new things in and to give you guys time to like order stuff, I wanna share it with you now. I'll link everything in the description box, but these are just some twinkle lights. I used these last year. I used them on my tablescape. I think this year I might put them on my media console. Last year I didn't have my media console, so I'm excited to decorate that. And then this is the Ramadan Mubarak sign. Um, it actually, it comes with a Ramadan and an Eid Mubarak, but, and I cut it so that it could be two pieces instead of one. So I'm probably going to do that on my staircase again this year. This is from a small business called a Cedar Olive Home. They have these little picture frames that are like really aesthetic and all their stuff is very neutral and really well made. So I'll probably put that in my kitchen again this year. I also have these from them as well. So this one says Ramadan Kareem, which you can't really see very well, but they're little acrylic stands. This one is a mosque. And then this one as well. So last year I put them in my 
little, what is this? Like armoire cabinet thing. And I don't know what I'll do with them this year. We'll see, I might do the same thing. This is very well made. It's from a brand called Rasm. This mosque, they're all so cute. I think, I don't know, I might not use everything. These are also from Rasm, they're little domes. And you can put dates or nuts. You can put them on like your coffee table. And put those in and they did give me i think a discount code for you guys i think it's amanda 15 i'll leave it in the description box this brand rasm just came out with an arabesque collection and it's gorgeous it's so so pretty these i picked up from i think i got them from michael's they're just little wooden little trays but i'm gonna put them on my dining table when i style it for my like setting the table for star i also got these olive branches from hobby lobby obviously they're fake and they need to be like pulled apart but these are they have some ones that are bigger than this and they have these small ones i also went to michael's to look for olive branches and they have better quality ones at hobby lobby so if you're looking for some go to hobby lobby these are from last year you guys probably remember i had them on my dining table and i put candles in them this cutting board is from with a spin so you could use it as a cutting board or also kind of like charcuterie board vibes this is also from with a spin i didn't use this last year so i'm excited to use it this year okay perfect timing i think this is from days of eid yes okay it's from days of eid this was perfect timing okay they sent me their mosaic and i think that's what this is it says ramadan and then the other one says mubarak and you can plug it in so these light up which would be really pretty at night these are twinkle lights. They, I'm sure you guys have seen the videos where they do them on their stairs. And since I have a staircase, I wanna see what it looks like. I don't know if I'll keep it up like the entire month because I don't know if I wanna do that or not, but I think I wanna put it up and just see what it looks like. And then maybe if I have people over, it would be nice to like do at night. These are so cute. They remind me of the lanterns I did last year. They're just a different shape. Kind of like Moroccan inspired to me anyways. So cute, you can put a candle in them. Probably not a real candle, maybe some like an electric one, but they're so cute and really good quality. I am gonna quickly get ready to go get coffee with Hala and I'll take you guys with me. I haven't really been wearing makeup very much because I have some dermatitis on my face and I went to the dermatologist for it. I have a cream, but it's just kind of like I've got to let my skin do its thing and yeah, that's what that is. This is my outfit for coffee, this sweater, these new jeans that are so comfortable, my little flats, and then this pollen bag. And I'll link my outfit down below, but everything is Abercrombie. My shoes, I think they're Dolce Vita. There is like a nationwide AT&T outage, so Hal and I are having a hard time talking to each other. But I just parked downtown and I parked in front of the city council building. So I'm going to see if she could take a photo of me here. And then we'll go get some coffee. I never come downtown. So I was looking, looking for a picture spot down here. Let me show you guys. 
a very aesthetic building, so I'll see if I can go find a spot. Hello. Hello. It's a little bit later in the day. I took my makeup off because... It's a chill day. It's a chill day. We're about to go to Muhammad's mom's house for dinner. Thank God. What do you mean, thank God? Mr. Cookie. I do too. She's making kepse. Fette chorma. And some... We'll see what else. Lahme. Lahme. We're the carnivore king over here. Yep. That's me. <laughs> so... We're about to go over there. I was cleaning uh, out my upstairs closet a little bit because I'm gonna donate some clothes. There's a lady that had, I donated to, to her once, but she like gives clothes to some of the refugees here. Cause there's like a lot of Afghan refugees. So I had like a bunch of modest clothes and I'm like, this is perfect. So I texted her, but she didn't have to see back. So we'll see. But I'm so ready for some food. Once they're finished with that house, he's gonna be all up in their backyard. He's gonna be literally going inside the house. <laughs> what if they have? What if somebody moves in with a dog? Oh my god! Right behind us. Well, he's prevailed once, and he shall prevail again. All he's gonna do is just pull that paw out and start serving up two pieces all over again. Extra stuff. Another drill. Since we're about to leave, I'm gonna give Simba his nasty food. I'm sure you guys have seen these poppies, so wanted to give you guys my favorites. Cherry limeade. So good. I wish it was like a little more carbonated. And then orange, which is my favorite. I tried Olipop. I tried the strawberry vanilla. Didn't really like it. Lena posted it, and I don't know why I didn't like it. I just, I don't know. But also, Lena and Lauren love the raspberry rose, and I have some of those. And I like them, but they're not my favorite. Cherry limeade. So good. Just wish it was, like, more carbonated. I need to, like, add, like, Topo Chico or something to it. Anytime Mohamed loses anything. He asks me where I put it. It's because of your it track history. This is true. I I lose and forget everything, but I think it's rubbing off on you. Yeah. Because you've lost your ring countless times. It's still lost. And it's funny because I always- Are you serious? Yeah, it's funny because I usually end up finding it like weeks later. You've lost it like four times. And I always find it. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm gonna find it this time because I don't think you will either. I've checked a lot of places. I think I mean it's from Amazon, so it's okay. <laughs> but it's just like you've already ordered it like three times. No, remember I kept losing the same ring, but I would find it. Oh, but you did order it again once, didn't you? No, because I ended up finding the same one. Oh, well. It's okay. I guess you just don't want to be married to me. Babe. Oh, just one bite. Invite who? My baby waiting for us. I'm gonna come cuddle with you and watch my show. I put his uh YouTube TV on. <laughs> I put his show on when we left. I felt bad leaving you here by yourself. Pajamas are on. It sounds like a zoo in here. With Simba's <laughs> YouTube. Turn that off. Okay. We're gonna make some tea and I wanna give you guys a little tour of my tea drawer. I restocked it the other day, I think. Yes, I did. All right, this is my favorite drawer in my entire house. And I use a lot of things in here, so. Ones I drink at night are Moroccan mint and lemon balm. Let's see what else we got. Ginger and chamomile. I don't drink that one that often. Then we've got more ginger and chamomile. I need to start drinking that. We've got this chai, which is very nice with some honey and some milk. 
green tea kombucha hala likes that one also my mom's favorite it's kind of fruity green tea lemon ginger haven't drank that one in a while uh raspberry leaf for that time of the month because it helps with cramps regular black tea more raspberry leaf green tea kombucha this is a green tea for my dad that is regular black tea earl gray love that cup of calm is kind of like lavenderish for nighttime which is nice and then we've got some i'm actually out of matcha there's sugar in here some hot chocolate and then this little honey we actually got on our honeymoon and i don't know if that's still good or not usually after dinner muhammad and i will go upstairs Yes. and watch something or just hang out but uh, I want to watch Love is Blind and he wants to do something else so I'm going to stay down here the shows just haven't been hitting lately the last really... great show we watched was Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones yeah okay no we and need House to... of Dragons but that's coming in March or April yeah so we could have that during Double Bone that would be nice we need a show during Ramadan. That sounds bad. I know we're not supposed to be focusing on that, but... But I'm not. After, after like, a week when I come home and stuff. Yeah. We usually need to um, watch. My parents and Lauren watched Warrior and said that was good. And some other one. So we'll figure it out. Simba's staying with me down here. He's going to cuddle me. Which one, Simba? Stay with Mama. Stay with Mama. We're gonna do lemon balm tonight. Tonight. That's pretty good, actually. I have been waiting to watch Love Is Blind all night. So that's what we're gonna go do. I don't know if you guys have seen that series on TikTok. It's called Who the F Did I Marry? This girl's talking about like, I guess, I haven't got to the juicy part yet, but she gets divorced and finds out her husband was like a pathological liar. So I got my mom on it. But now I'm gonna watch Love is Blind because today the new, you know how they put out like some episodes, then you watch them and then they'll put out some more episodes. Well, they just put out more and now my kitty's coming to cuddle with me mm, you. you always choose me i am gonna chill for the next hour and go to sleep so i love you guys i hope you all enjoyed this vlog and i'm so excited for ramadan weekly vlogs coming up i can't believe it's literally around the corner but there will definitely be weekly vlogs coming up for that. Hope you guys have the best week and weekend or whenever you're watching this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!